Okay, so I believe we are live. Um, <laughs> 안녕하세요. 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 We should look here. Yes. <laughs> All right, so it's been a while. Yeah, it has very long time. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we've been busy, right? Yeah, very so, busy. So, yeah, we've been busy with lessons, books, and other things that we're working on that we cannot talk about. Uh, in J. Pong K. 2.8 says, In. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, we'll be looking this well, way. Back and forth, yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> at the screen and then at the uh, lens as well. Ah, 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. Wow. Hello, everybody. Hi from Malaysia. Hello, hello. Hi from India. Yes. Hello from Australia. Uh -huh. Hello from Turkey. Lots of people watching. Florida! Hey! <laughs> and uh, super, uh, you're from Florida. Florida. So. <laughs> Supernova88 says, Yay, my first live with Talk to Me in Korean. Yay! Hooray! Yeah, thank glad you. Glad you could make it. Yes, I am glad as well. So, um, Turkey. The first question already. Yu oh. Naun asks, Tips for staying motivated. Tips for staying motivated. Oh, I boy. think um, always there's this um, same answer that I give to most people who ask, actually ask this question. You got to find a reason to feel good about uh, whatever you're doing mm -hmm. with learning, with your efforts to improve your current Korean skills or something that you want to work on in the future. You know, if it's just a struggle, purely 100% struggle, can't you, you got to, you know, you want to give up, so right. some kind of encouraging experience should happen. Mm -hmm. Whether you know, you know, it can be someone saying "awesome" or someone's like, someone's comment. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta give yourself some reward. For me, also, I find it very helpful to associate language learning with something that I really like. Mm -hmm. So uh, I really like to cook, yeah. and when I, whenever I learn a new language, a lot of times the first thing I will do is when I'm making something, mm -hmm. I'll look up all the ingredients in the target language. I see, like <laughs> pasta for Italian. Oh yeah, or, <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, or like get... eggs or you know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the little ingredients. Yeah, yeah. Like. So rewards, some fun activities that you already enjoy. Mix them with um, what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, hello from Brazil, California, the Philippines, Mexico, uh, Algeria, oh, Oregon. Oregon. Oh. Yeah, Bangladesh, Oregon, Thailand. How's the weather in Korea? How's the weather? Cold. But today it's really warm. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Well, I guess it's warmer than it has been. Yeah, warmer yeah. than you know usual, warmer than the previous few days. Yeah. And hello from New York. Wow. New York, Algeria. Mm hmm South Africa, yeah. California, Egypt, uh -huh. Texas, India, awesome. Um, A I um, Ashwarya Goenka says, "I live in India and I wanted to start working in South Korea in a production house, but it is so difficult to connect over there through mail." Uh -huh. Yes, it is difficult. Um, whenever you are working for some good work opportunities, you need to be here. Mm -hmm, right. Unfortunately. I, th I think it applies to any country, though. Yeah, it's much easier when you're in person. Yeah. You can actually go and talk to the people. Yes, yes. And from Taiwan, uh, in Korean, Zuzu 789W says, 안녕하세요, 대만 사람이에요. 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. 안녕하세요. Thank you for tuning in. And hello from Greece. Wow. Greece. Yes. And then, um, Maya Hernandez says, it is 1 a.m. and I have school tomorrow. You should go to bed. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, yes. <laughs> okay. Don't stay up too late. All right, so we, have, we got a question about shipping. So Maria uh, Res... Resonu? Resinu? 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 asks, uh, Maria asks, is the shipping free? Unfortunately, no. not. Um, <sighs> We do not decide our shipping fees. Right. It is set by the post offices or the postal service in Korea. Right. If we use the postal service, and of course, EMS is decided by the company EMS. Right. And uh, yeah. And speaking of which, we have a winter sale going on. Winter sale. And uh, I wanted to actually show you this pin in person. Although this is not exactly in person. Not in person, but, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> closest thing we can get. Sure. Yes. So. Here's what we made. Oh, you, can you, you can see? see? If you can see it. Yeah. All right. There, there we go. Yes. Can I see it? Yeah. yeah. 
That pin is for the first 1,000 orders during our winter sale. Yeah, and we're getting a lot of... Uh, <laughs> we usually, like, whenever we make, like, 700 or 1,000, mm -hmm. those pins, those, uh, you could say, souvenirs, right. mm -hmm. they go out really fast within the first few days. So right. hurry up hurry if you up. want to save uh, on the uh, total price of the books and also want to get a pin. Mm -hmm. So Previously, we did 700 pins, but yeah. because they went so fast yes. last time, we decided yeah. to do 1,000 this time. Yeah, and these are actually surprisingly ex more, more expensive than I you know, thought to make. So. Yeah. Well, when you buy them even, uh, yeah. just, just made ones on like Etsy or anywhere else, yeah, they're yeah. like 8 to $10. Yeah, but themselves. even for us to make these, it, they it's were quite expensive. Quite expensive. Yeah. But, anyway, but they're gorgeous, right? Yeah, they're really pretty. We're very happy to make these uh, mm -hmm. during our regular sales. So let's get back to, to some, some questions. comments and questions. Okay, what time is it in Korea? RN, which I guess means right now. Right now. <laughs> uh, it's. Uh, it is 3:07 p.m. Yeah. Yes. 3:07. And then. Let's. See. Uh, by the way, your lessons are amazing. It helps me a lot to learn Korean while traveling. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Who who's listening to our lessons while traveling while, while commuting? Let us know. And who's let us let us know. Like, are you listening to our lessons or watching our lessons at home, or secretly at at work? <laughs> secretly. <laughs> secretly at work. At work. Um, or are you driving or taking public transport when you are actually watching or listening to our lessons? We are very curious. Okay. Here, Tu Tu Chang Tu Chang asks, "Do you have spring sales in 2018?" So, uh, in 2018, we do not plan to have a spring sale. Mm -hmm. um, I think the next one will be probably in the summer. The summer. Yeah. So it'll be a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Paige Taylor says, "I got mine." Oh. Ah. Okay. You you ordered. Uh, book so oh, yes. I hope I will get the pin I think if you ordered um, either today or yesterday you will get the pin yep so yes okay and Shri H asks is hello talk a good way to connect to Korean students to learn I think so yeah I think so uh, a lot of Koreans are actually now signing up a lot more Koreans are now signing up to learn other languages through hello talk I mean they know they can't completely learn any language through a language exchange partner search app, mm -hmm. but I think they a lot of uh, older people too. I, I actually met a teacher in her 50s, and she recently signed up on HelloTalk, and she's making friends on HelloTalk. Yeah. So that's good. So a lot yeah. of people are there. Yeah, a lot of my my friends who are also Korean learners mm -hmm. are on HelloTalk. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure good. it's definitely a good way. Sure. Of course, um, there are things you have to consider though, like if you have 50 language exchange partners on Hello Talk, which is a great app in and of itself. But if you just keep exchanging hello, how are you's or exactly, good yeah. mornings, you're not exactly going to improve. You have to say something a little more complicated, a little longer, you know, a little better than mm -hmm. previous ones. You have to challenge yourself. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> Natalia Lima says, <coughs> It's 1 a.m. It's 4 a.m. here. 4 a.m. <laughs> Why are you awake? <laughs> even more intense. Okay. Did you did you just wake up? Are you no, getting no, no. ready to go <laughs> to work, or, or have you been awake the whole night? <laughs> and Taffy Townsend says it's 6 a.m. in the UK. I want to ask that question to this person. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Still up, or are you? Did you just wake up? Okay. Well, uh, here's a, here's a question here. Mm -hmm. Where to go? Mintron. Mm -hmm. Can you explain when you should use to or tashi? To and tashi, um, they mean the same in most contexts. Mm -hmm. But if you say to, like to is stronger, the pronunciation itself is stronger and it's short, so it's more commonly than tashi, more commonly used in situations where you are annoyed. To, right. to, to. Like my son wants to, for example, wants to drink orange juice. Mm -hmm. I gave him a cup five minutes ago. He wants another cup of orange juice. I can say to, you know, if I were to speak Korean, but I wouldn't say tashi. Mm -hmm. Tashi is more neutral, more positive. Like you tried something, you didn't make it. Tashi, tashi. You know, right. do it again. Do again, it again, again. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind mm -hmm. of uh, difference is there. Yeah. All right. The nuance. Yeah. 
Uh, and people often say to dashi too, like to dashi. To dashi, right? Together, yeah. Which means <laughs> one again, one more time again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To dashi. To dashi. Or to dashi can be positive too. Yeah. It really depends on the context. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here is a question. Yeah. Triana Pertui mm -hmm. Pertui asks, "Can I still get the pin if I buy the book at a store in Korea?" No, unfortunately, no. the pins are in the shipping office, not even in our office. We only have how many of these? Ten? Like 20, <laughs> 10 or 20? Yeah, yeah. 10 or 20 of these. I think close to 10 than 20. But um, we, yeah, we, we wish we could actually give these out to our friends too. Mm -hmm. But I only got two assigned <laughs> to, <laughs> to me as my uh, you know, own pins. Uh, all the pins are in the shipping office. Uh, of our publisher's office, mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah, we we do not ship the books ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have our publisher ship them. So yes. all of our books and all of our pins are all at the publisher's office, and they take care of all of that. Yeah, so. yeah. It must be. I mean, I didn't even get to look at the one thousand pins, but it must be so pretty <laughs> to have a pile. A big of bag. The, yeah. Talk to me, Korean pins. Yeah. Okay, and um. Palle Hangrai says, Hi, I'm from Nepal and I'm watching every day. Um, talk to me in Korean. Thank you. Thank you. So many people in so many countries are learning Korean and we really, really appreciate it. Ah, uh, here's another good question. Mm -hmm. G Mini Mouse says, What does the ending ni mean? For example, Har Sui ni? Mm -hmm. Ni. Ni, when do you use ni? Ni is, it's at the end of a question. Mm -hmm. And I've always felt ni. that ni, ni. <laughs> not that ni. <laughs> Don't listen to him, he's going to confuse you. <laughs> I've always felt that ni is, you almost always use it for someone who's younger than you. Yes. Or at a lower, you know, social status than mm -hmm. you. Because mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not by nature harsh but kind of yeah. it can feel harsh depending on the context that mm -hmm. it's used in mm -hmm. um yeah yeah and you especially use it for younger people mm -hmm. so only for younger people mm -hmm. it's absolutely safe to use to a child mm -hmm. like 10 11 right. 13 safe from 14 on not very safe i would say yeah you can still use it but yeah, you got to yeah. be careful yeah so uh, until the person develops a sense of themselves being a grown up i guess mm -hmm. you can safely use that to that person and um, usually also to friends of the same age you can say mm -hmm. ni like uh, mohani mohani mm -hmm. but it's never a polite way to ask a question it's mm -hmm. always kind of looking down right. upon someone as a younger or lower person, mm -hmm. you know, in the hierarchy. So yes. I, I, I don't I don't think I ever say so and so need to anyone in the office, even though I'm one of the oldest. So yeah, it's it's not a so in in I guess really close relationships you can say that. Yeah, really, really close. It has yeah, to be yeah. really close. Yeah. There is uh, I I know you did like a, a video about like Oppa Onni culture, mm -hmm. but um, there is one thing that especially women really hate like the knee endings or uh. calling older men oppa is because a lot of times these oppa will use the knee ending yeah. for, towards women just uh. like looking down on mm. them so personally if i ever hear anybody use knee mm. the knee ending to me i get really offended i see it bothers me a mm. lot i hate it yeah. <laughs> personally so try not to use it <laughs> yeah, try not to use it just there are so many like things that are harmless in the korean language that you you know that make you think they're okay to use, but then mm -hmm. when you actually use them, the other person's response might be different from what you expect. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it's it's interesting, but it's difficult. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, aha, uh -huh. Alondra says, I want to learn Korean, but I just have the option of learning Japanese. <laughs> Do you think it's going to help me in the future with my Korean? And my answer is always absolutely yes. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, Japanese is simpler in many ways than Korean because of the pronunciation simplicity, mm -hmm. but also you will learn a lot of uh, kanji, a lot of uh, hanja characters, mm -hmm. Chinese characters along the way. So you can use your knowledge of those hanja characters when you learn more advanced Korean words. Right. You will be able to remember words really, really easily. For example, sehu, like 
government. Mm -hmm. But you write the same Chinese characters, almost the same, and then you write it, you read it as Chengbu. And it's you already know the other Japanese word, mm -hmm. you know the Korean word automatically. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I was going to kind of say the same thing because mm. I actually did learn Japanese mm. before mm. I learned Korean. And it was funny, before I could speak any Korean beyond like, annyeonghaseyo, some of my Korean friends that I had w were like writing down Hansa characters. Mm. And I was like, oh, I know what that is. And they're, yeah, like, yeah. they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's very useful. Yeah, so, so there are so many cognates like 안전, 안전, mm -hmm. safe, safe. Like Isn't Junbi the same? Junbi, Junbi, like the pronunciation is slightly different, slightly but different. almost the same. Junbi, yeah. Junbi, yeah, yeah, things like that. Quite a few. Yeah. There's quite a few that are very, very similar. Okay, and Gammy Bear, Gammy Bear, yeah, not Gummy Bear, says, uh, <laughs> "Please tell me how I can improve my writing skills." Writing skills. You write really well in Korean. Do I? <laughs> yeah, I think of course your spoken Korean and written Korean are. At at the same level, mm -hmm. right? I, I, I guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, are there? <laughs> I've never thought. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> I've never looked at your writing because like, we have an uh, on online task management system, right? Mm -hmm. I've never looked at your writing and thought, oh, why doesn't she talk like that? You know, I've never, you know, because uh, right, it's right, the same. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I write about, I, yeah, I guess yeah, I would write yeah, about yeah, the same that yeah. I, I type. Yeah. You know, that's how we communicate. We barely communicate with words, actually. I know it sounds weird, but we, we just use a uh, computer all yeah, the time. Mm. Yeah. Even though we're like <laughs> 10 feet away from each other. <laughs> hey, what you doing? You want to go should eat I lunch? Be, <laughs> should I be ashamed of it or should I be proud of the efficiency? I, I, think, I think it's efficient. Okay. And I think the re most of us are pretty introverted too, so it, it works out for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to see an office tour? Let me know. Yeah, should we? <laughs> yeah, we can show you around. All right, so how did you actually practice writing? Ah, uh, writing. I don't I think because um, just I learned writing kind of the same time as I was speaking. Mm. So it just kind of came naturally. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I always did to help me remember like vocabulary mm -hmm. is I would um, first write down the vocabulary word, vocabulary <laughs> word. <laughs> yeah. And then I would find the English meaning. Mm -hmm. And then I would take all of the vocabulary words that I learned that day, mm -hmm. and I would write like two or three example sentences oh, for yeah. every single one. Mm -hmm. So in that way, I got a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. And it did help also to have like a friend who could look over them and be like, oh, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually didn't have that that much. I didn't yeah. have that many friends that mm -hmm. would check it. I would just do it anyways. Mm -hmm. And then I guess as I was learning, I kind of learned the patterns and I realized, oh, that's wrong. I should write it this way. Yeah. Many people think that there should be someone to correct them mm -hmm. in order for them to actually improve their speaking or writing skills really, really like dramatically. But it's not the case. It's not actually true. Um, you don't really need someone to be there always on call to correct your sentences. Mm -hmm. Just, but it's usually always, most of the time, a problem of um, not writing enough. Right. If you actually produce enough output, mm -hmm. you will self, you will find yourself self-correcting your own mistakes because mm -hmm. you won't be simply writing things down. You will be also inputting things, and then you will be comparing. Oh, I wrote this sentence yesterday, but this new sentence is in a different structure. Mm -hmm. Which one is wrong? Or are they both correct? Right. You will naturally wonder. It's always, um, you know, it all comes down to not writing enough. So just, mm -hmm. yeah, being it's, prolific yeah. will help. Practice, 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 practice. I yes. think, yeah, mm -hmm. that's the best thing. And we asked earlier where people are actually listening or watching our mm -hmm. stuff. So um, the whale says, I'm watching you in a class. And <laughs> a Angelie Kate, Gunja Gundaya mm -hmm. says, I listen secretly while in class. <laughs> yeah, and also Horangi <laughs> says, secretly at work, that's me. <laughs> okay. Everyone's watching at class and work. Yeah. And, <laughs> and We're also, glad you're listening, though. Yeah, thank you. I, I mean, at least you wouldn't listen to our stuff if, if it were too boring for mm -hmm. you. Cheryl Berrios asks, in Korea, is it disrespectful to leave tips in ah. restaurants? You can say yes. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. they are, they never expect to get anything, any compensation, any money from the customer themselves like directly. So whatever the customer gives, gives them, it's just 
personal, mm -hmm. personally like feeling pity. Right. Like, hey, you poor thing, you need money, right? Here, here, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, they can take it as that. They could, yeah. Yeah, because the proper, I guess, payment should be made through the counter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they will actually, they might take offense. Mm -hmm. Or they might think that if you didn't give it specifically to them, if you just like leave it on the table, they mm -hmm. might be like, oh no, they forgot their money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they yeah. might run out after you and yeah. give it to you. I don't know. So. I, I think a lot of um, Koreans travel these days overseas and then they get used to the tipping culture or they at least complain and still have to do it right in especially the u.s but uh yeah since it's the setting is korea they might not used to it but i do sometimes like give not giving tips but i do sometimes give a little more than the what the meter says in a taxi oh, right, like yeah. if it's a uh, man kuchan won. I usually mm -hmm. pay with a card, but when I only have cash, mm -hmm. I will pay like 20,000 and then say, uh, And the taxi driver will always say, thank you, appreciate yeah. it, 고맙습니다. Nobody has ever refused it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly a tip in that situation. It's just like, you know, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt for both parties yeah, to get such a little bit yeah, of money, with yeah. little coins. So. Keep the change. Keep the change. Yeah. Of course, you shouldn't do it with like a big bill. Right. If you are young and because there's this age thing, if you're young and the other uh, the guy, the taxi driver is like in his 60s. And if you paid a 50,000 one bill and mm -hmm. you're like, keep the change, he'll be like, you arrogant. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know, you come yeah. and, you know, sit, I'll give you a life lesson. You know, <laughs> it might happen. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, don't overdo it. But you get the idea. That Lulu says, I'm actually learning with the 100-day journal right now while I'm watching you. Awesome. Yay, that's Yay. cool. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Great questions. And many people say that they listen in class. <laughs> and also, TL says, me, I listen to the lessons while I'm traveling and working on schoolwork. Okay. So you're doing your schoolwork and you're learning Korean. At the same time. Multitasking. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then... Oh, is that... I feel like we've answered this question before, but... Uh, Ipia? Mm -hmm. Is the Talk to Me in Korean school in the works right now? Uh, not right now, but we are slowly getting, you know, things... I don't know, we're looking into it, and we're... Of course, we... There are many ways we can do it, of course. Either we can get some investors, mm -hmm. you know, we can raise money and do it, and we can wait until we have enough capital, or we can collaborate with an existing school. Mm -hmm. So we don't know exactly which path we will take. What do you think? Uh, but we did have some interesting, meaningful conversation with a very big university here in Korea. Mm -hmm. So maybe we will collaborate. We, we, but we just have like so much on our like plate right now. Yeah. So we need to these do do these um, task current tasks really well first, mm -hmm. and um, then work on the other things. Right. But we are still like coming up with ideas, writing things down. So if we ever make a school in the near future, it'll be a good one. It'll be mm -hmm. a very good one. Okay. <laughs> um, Jasmine says, I listen to the podcasts before I go to sleep. Nice. Does do, do, do we put you to sleep? <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you the same question. All right. Oh, here, this is a good one. Yusra says, please tell me how to start a conversation online with a Korean person. Mm -hmm. Every time I talk to a person, I start with 안녕하세요, 잘 지내세요. And then they just block me or ignore. Can you help? So first of all, um, for that person, there's not enough information, I think. Like, right. mm -hmm. um, I, I think, for example, us on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook, it's a little different for us. Like, we know that whoever is messaging us 안녕, with 안녕하세요, mm -hmm. they are Talk To Me in Korean users. So we want to, not, not that we can all, you know, do it all the time, but we want to say hello back when we can. Mm -hmm. But to a random stranger, First of all, 잘 지내세요 is not the right question to ask because mm -hmm. 잘 지내세요 can only be asked to somebody that you already know. 
Mm. It's like, how have you been? So, you know, it would be weird to ask, hey, how have you been? To somebody that you meet for the first time, right? Yeah. So that's why I think they think they might think, oh, you know, what is this question? Yeah. Hey. It, I think it also depends where you meet them, mm -hmm. for one thing. And, like, <laughs> this is kind of silly, but um, because I'm single, mm -hmm. I use a lot of um, dating apps, or I did before. Yeah. And on dating apps, I think especially when people just message, hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I, I personally uh, yeah, ignore. Yeah. A lot of people do because yeah. it's just like you get so many messages yeah, and it's like yeah. you don't really want to respond just hello and just mm, yeah. hello, hi, how are you? Good, thanks. You know, it gets boring it, after a while. It, it might just waste their time. Mm -hmm. They might think, oh, it's, this is just another stock message. Uh, it right. might be a waste of my time. So saying something more meaningful like, you know, introducing yourself properly or in a funny way might help, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't just say 안녕하세요 and wait forever. Like right. I, I also sometimes I like to go into the DM on Instagram and on Facebook, my personal Facebook page as well, and I see messages that are like months old. And then sometimes I feel, I mean, quite often I feel bad that I didn't get back to everybody. But then mm -hmm. I see 안녕하세요, like by someone I, that I don't know yet. And then one month later, another 안녕하세요. Right. And a m month later, another 안녕하세요, like, oh, no, no, this is not, you know, worth either of us's time. Right. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, maybe some tips for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Ilinda Blank. Okay, this is a clever <laughs> username, Ilinda Blank. <laughs> Instead of fill in the blank. <laughs> <laughs> Would a Talk To Me in Korean consider doing a learning tour in another country like America? This is something that actually came up um, while I was talking with someone, not in the, in the office, but what we're doing now uh, at KCON mm -hmm. is kind of like that, but it's just two hours. And what I just did last week in the Netherlands was kind of like that for two hours. So HallyuCon invited me, invited talk to me in Korean, I went um, as a representative and the two hour um, presentation was really good, I think. Not that my presentation was excellent, but the interaction was really good. So we want to do this more, but it's just logistics, like who's gonna you know, bring us out there, who's gonna pay for the things and right, you know, things right. like that. Are we gonna do it on our own and try to charge people mm -hmm. and make ends meet? It's right. really, really like difficult to figure out. Yeah, if we could get like sponsorships or something, that would be really awesome. But yeah, those are not easy to come by. <laughs> yeah, and because it's six of us, you know, if you just think about the realistic issues here, mm -hmm. even if someone were to actually pay us, say, something like twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars for five days, the you know, f us not being in the office for five days is just right. is huge. I guess, loss mm -hmm. to the whole production of the company and the team. Mm -hmm. So we will probably say that's not enough, you know. Right. So it's, yeah, I don't know. It's not easy at no, all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Sneak peek has a question for me. Mm -hmm. Cassie, why did you start learning Korean and how long did it take you to learn it? Mm -hmm. Um, I, th I feel like I've answered this question kind of similarly before, mm -hmm. but um, I'll go over it again. My, the reason that I started learning Korean um, was actually because a friend of mine introduced me to Super Junior. <laughs> <laughs> and when I watched their music videos, I was like, this is n like nothing I've ever seen. This is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I thought that the language was quite interesting, too. Yeah, I think the same thing is happening to a lot of people with uh, BTS. Right, yeah, right. They're like, oh, who, who are these guys on Ellen? and <laughs> discovering about the Korean right, culture. So right. back to your story. The, I think the um, music video that I saw from Super Junior, they used like some like mm -hmm. like um, puns kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was one thing in there where they were like, su bak su bak su. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I didn't know what it meant at the time, but I thought that was hilarious. Because that's not even a good pun. It's not even a good pun. Yeah. But at the time I was like, that's really funny because mm -hmm. there was like a clapping watermelon on the screen okay, too. <laughs> okay. And uh, so I just thought it was really interesting and I wanted to learn the language mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. So I started to learn it and I realized that learning Hangul is so easy. Mm -hmm. 
like learning the Korean alphabet is just so simple. Mm-hmm. You can learn it in a day. Yeah. And so I learned the alphabet and then I was able to read stuff. I didn't know what it meant, but I was able to read it. And I was like, I got to keep going. Yeah. And eventually I actually, uh, my ex is Korean, mm-hmm. but when I met him, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, now I really have to learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, Hangul is probably the only writing system, not the language, but Hangul, the writing system, is the only lang- uh, writing system of a language um, that you can learn within one day and be done with. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if you haven't learned Hangul yet, please, please definitely <laughs> give it a try. We have a we have two books on it. Mm-hmm. We actually want to show you something really cool. So yeah, that's your story. You, but how long did it take? How long? I'll be back. Mm. So I'd say mm, it depends on like what milestone we're going by here. But I would say that, um, like I said, it took about a day to learn how to read, and then for me to actually start forming sentences, I would say it took me like a year approximately. And then to actually start having conversations, I would say around two years was when I could just have a conversation without like really thinking about it. And then to get to the point where I was so fluent that I could completely um, like go through my entire day and get everything I needed to done needed to get done only in Korean. I think that took about around the four year mark. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, it takes time, and you never actually reach the finish line. Right. It's always you're constantly learning. Yeah. I I, I think. When I spent two years um, learning English, I think I was actually quite arrogant and also complacent with uh, my my level of English. That was when I was in either in my freshman college year or right before then, Mm -hmm. because I spent the majority of my high school days just learning, trying to learn English on my own. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, my English is like good, good enough. I never need to learn, you know, a day, a study English a day, uh, you know, one more day in my life. But then I met people who were more eloquent and who were better spoken and who knew more vocabulary words and also who could express the same thoughts in more efficient ways, in mm-hmm. better sounding ways. And even to this day, like 19, 20 years after I started uh, learning English, I still find people who are like, oh, you know, inspiring me. So mm-hmm. you never finish. But I think three, four years is a good amount of time that you can spend on a language and you feel uh, comfortable. Right. Also, I think uh, when we say that it's always a learning process, my native language, Mm -hmm. English, is still a learning process. I'm still (laughs) learning words that I never knew. The same with uh, Korean for me, too. Mm -hmm. So I brought three books. So this is our Hangul Master book. Hangul Master. Many of you have this book and many of you might have actually seen it on the Conan show when Conan right. O'Brien was in Korea he uh, if you uh, watch the TV show episode uh, one of the books that he has actually had like the very book that's in front of him is this book yes and this was popular that uh, so popular that we actually decided to publish the Spanish version Spanish. and then now we also we didn't publish it directly on our own, but this was also published in Taiwan, Taiwan. by a, publisher, a local publisher there. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's the same content, but written in Chinese. So is this only available in Taiwan? Yes, only available. They just sent us these as gifts, <laughs> uh-huh. samples, so that we can see uh, how they uh, actually made it. So yay. So if, if you're in Taiwan, <laughs> yeah, you can there you go. Pick this up, our mm-hmm. new book, our new hunger book in your local bookstore. Yes, so I wanted to share this great news. And here's a fun one. Uh, what TV shows do you guys watch? TV shows? Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't own a TV. Okay. I don't watch TV, actually. I'm not a TV person. Like, if someone recommends something to me, I'll, like, go on Netflix or mm-hmm. I'll download it or something. Mm-hmm. But very rarely. I see. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. I, I don't watch TV either. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so why did <laughs> Sorry, I pick that question? Sorry, we're boring. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess if I had to pick one, mm-hmm. like a while back that I did watch was um, 
냉장고를 부탁해요. 부탁해? 냉장고를 부탁해. 부탁해. 냉부. 냉부. Yeah, right. Shorten their. It's a trend in Korea nowadays to shorten, shorten TV show episodes, TV show names. Yeah. 냉부. 무한, 아 마리텔. 마리텔. My Little Television is mm-hmm. 마리텔. 마리텔. 무한도전. Infinite Challenge is 무한도전 is as if it 무도. were not short enough. It's 무도. <laughs> 무도. What else? Um, yeah, and that's also useful when people read articles on these um, search engines like portal websites because mm-hmm. they can. They, they don't have to actually write Wuhan do jan they can write Wuhan and then yeah. whatever is the headline. Right, cool big, comedy big l e That one was funny. Jeff Chima asks, "Are you going to do more K-pop lyric analysis videos?" So uh-huh. I'm I'm guessing that's like what um, Kyungha mm-hmm. and Seokjin are doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yes, we are. I think we have one lined up yeah, very yeah. soon. Yeah, we with all the different series that we have, we want to increase the frequency for yeah. every one of the various series that we have. But it's hard. Yeah, uh, time. <laughs> time, time. Yeah, time. But we want to do more, more than just two episodes a month. Mm-hmm. Okay. Merlin James asks, uh-huh. "How to reach Korean level four in two years?" Now it depends on what level four we're talking about. If we're talking about talk to me in Korean level four, then Doesn't you should take, yeah. easily be yeah. able to do it in a year. Honestly, yeah. six months. Yeah. Oh. But level four in the uh, topic exam mm-hmm. system, level four. That is tough. Two years. I think it's possible. 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 Yes. If you, I think it's more about it'll be more about vocabulary than the center structures, I guess, mm-hmm. because right, the vocabulary. center structures and grammar patterns will be easier to pick up mm-hmm. within two years. I have taken um, a practice test mm-hmm. for the level four, and they use some pretty advanced vocabulary. Like um, most of it was pretty simple, mm-hmm. but then there was one section where it was all about business. Mm-hmm. So they used a lot of like really advanced vocabulary for that. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, two years. I I think you can definitely do yeah. it. And I've actually met many people who've done it in two years or even mm-hmm. a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also surprisingly, I don't know like everything about the um, actual criteria in topic, the uh, test of proficiency in Korean. Mm-hmm. But people who I think should get the highest, whatever is the highest level, sometimes they only end up with level five instead of level six. Mm-hmm. It's um, yeah, very difficult. The, yeah, there's people who are really good at taking tests too that mm-hmm. can completely ace it. Yeah, and then yeah. there's people who, when you meet them, their level is like much higher than the person who aced it, uh-huh. but they completely fail the yeah, test. Yeah, there's that too. So. Like your test taking skills will mm-hmm. definitely help. Do you have good test taking sti- no. skills? Test taking skills. Test taking skills. I need to practice. <laughs> <laughs> Say that three times fast. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah, you need those. Yeah, okay. I'm. I'm one of those people. I think of every single possible option, mm. and so whenever I look at the four options that they give you, I'm like, none of these make complete sense to me. Uh, <laughs> like you didn't consider this thing that could be, you know, uh-huh. like. So I'm. I'm terrible. Too much thinking is yeah, never too much good thinking. for good test results. Yeah. All right. Okay, moving on to other questions. And Christy Jean Anderson says, "Are the podcasts free to download?" Yes, they are free to download. And we actually recently uh, started publishing the Iyagi episodes separately as a standalone mm-hmm. podcast. Uh, let me just show you really quickly. Mm. Yeah, you can type in, uh, go to the podcast app on iOS, or just go to any podcast directory using your favorite uh, podcast app of choice on Android, and type in "Talk to Me in Korean," <laughs> and you will see "Talk to Me in Korean"'s main podcast feed, like including everything, every video lesson included. Or the Iyagi podcast, which uh, where we actually publish one new episode each day now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's free to download, and we have many many free lessons. So please yes. visit our website talktomeinkorean.com, and we, uh, of course, we want to offer all these free lessons for free. Um, you know, forever, 
and we also have our books like these ones and ebooks and video courses that we sell so that we can support ourselves and support other people. Right. Yeah. All right. Here's so far question. so far I think it's been working really well to mm -hmm. help each other out. Yeah. Here's a question Dylan Dumpling. Uh, apparently this is his fifth time trying to ask this. Okay. Um, so it says that in dramas and songs he hears them say kasum for heart. Mm -hmm. But in translate apps it says shimjang. So why do dramas and songs say kasum instead of shimjang? Okay, shimjang is the the heart as an organ. Right. So that's why and uh, we actually have a lesson, specific lesson on how to say heart in Korean. Mm -hmm. So please click on the YouTube logo, no, our logo on this YouTube page and then type in the search bar, say heart, heart. and you will see that lesson with some great acting from Seok Jin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I saw a question here. Um, Alejandra says, where can I buy your books in Seoul? Kyobo Bookstore in Gwanghwamun not only has the most of our books, but also has more Korean language books than any other bookstores oh. in Korea. So definitely go to Kyobo Bookstore in Gwanghwamun. It's the biggest one, I believe. One of the biggest bookstores, you know, period, in Korea. So yeah, they have the books on Korea section and you can see all of our books there. Mm -hmm. Natalia Lima wants to know, have mm -hmm. we ever covered Diyosugi? Diyosugi. Diyosugi. We, um, I don't believe we have a lesson on like the general rules of Diyosugi. I'm not entirely sure, mm -hmm. but we do go over Diyosugi in basically every lesson. Mm -hmm. um, but we, uh, we will I'll have to kind of refresh my memory, <laughs> whether we have a video or an audio on Diyosugi alone. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we don't, we will work on it. Yeah. Because uh, Diyosugi, Diyosugi rules change over time, and Diyosugi is important. Here's a good example. Um, my son, mm -hmm. who is learning both Korean and English at the same time, somebody wrote earlier that uh, she or he, she subscribed to my personal YouTube channel to, uh -huh. uh, to watch videos of my son and me. Thank you. Uh, so he's, he was kind of playing with uh, my arms, mm -hmm. like kind of sitting behind me. He was, we were sitting back to back and we were doing this, you know. Uh, linking arms. Linking okay. arms. And then he, he was more like, I was thinking he's more like a little backpack that I'm carrying here. Yeah. And he obviously thought the same thing. And he was telling uh, my wife, his mom, he, he wanted to say, Appa ka kabang gate. <laughs> Mom, daddy is like a backpack, like a bag. Yeah. But then he messed it up and he said, bangate. <laughs> bangate. <laughs> But he, he, he just missed one ka there. Mm -hmm. bangate. So he ended up sounding like, daddy is like a room. And daddy is like a room. <laughs> bangate. And he said, he was really confused, he was confused at his own <laughs> sentence. <laughs> it took a while for him to actually figure it out. Mm -hmm. So there are instances where you say one thing with or without the asugi spacing, yeah, yeah. and the definition changes. That's actually a, a very common example uh, when Koreans are explaining the Diyosugi rules, mm -hmm. the spacing rules, mm -hmm. is 아빠가 방에 있어. Yeah. 아빠 uh, kabang, uh, yeah. What was it? 아빠가 pa 방에 들어가신다. Oh, right. Yeah. 들어가신다. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> 아빠가 방에 들어가신다. If right. you say 아빠가 space, 방에 space 들어가신다, it means your father goes into the room, walks right. into the room. But 아빠 space, 가방에 <laughs> space, with all the same letters, it means your father is basically a body contortionist. <laughs> yeah, going into the bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Skin Spirit says, Hi, can you please explain the ending koyo? Oh. Mm -hmm. I can't find a good explanation anywhere. I love talk to me in Korean. Thank you. Thank you for the clap and the uh, hearts. Hearts. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Somebody actually <laughs> yeah, uh, asked, yeah, asked what this means. Yeah, I'm not used to making this. This, is, this means, uh, this is a mini heart. A mini heart. Like here. Heart. <laughs> yeah. If you can imagine a heart being here. Yeah, like, 
Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> uh, one of our teachers, Kyungun, actually posed like this. And many Korean artists actually do this. Yeah, right? most idols, I think. Most but idols but like at first, I st I'm used to it now. Mm -hmm. It kind of grew on me, but now, I mean, but before, when they did this, I thought they were actually asking for money. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the money? <laughs> yeah, like money or something like this, you know, this is money. Yeah. Like this. So I thought it was weird, but now I think it's common. Mm -hmm. So what was the question? Um, yeah. Koyo. Koyo. Koyo is basically ko plus yo. Mm -hmm. uh, you, end, you can either end the sentence as is, like, uh, 밖에 날씨 추워요. Mm -hmm. 밖에 날씨 추워요. Outside the weather is cold. Oh. 추워요. Instead of saying that, you might want to continue on and mm -hmm. hint to the other person that you want to continue on speaking. 춥고, right? Mm -hmm. 춥고. Your sentence is not finished. It's cold outside. And, mm -hmm. but while you are pausing like that, you might feel a little bit uncomfortable leaving it just ending with a casual, you know, feel to it right. like that. So you just add, you know, in a hurry. Right. right. So basically saying end. Uh, also with the, the guyo ending, um, I've, I noticed when I was learning Korean that um, I felt like I kind of had a level up mm -hmm. when I started ordering mm -hmm. in a restaurant or uh, at like a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. I would say like, 따뜻한 아메리카노 한 잔이랑요. 하고요. 하고요. 랑요 is okay. Yeah, 랑요 is also, yes, but 하고요. Yeah. It's like, 랑요, 하고요 are kind of like the same thing. Mm -hmm. But like, I want a hot Americano and, and you're kind of like still thinking. Yeah. And it's, then you say yeah. what you want. It's yeah. kind of letting the other person know that you are not done talking. Right. Mm -hmm. And also similarly in the same situation, 따뜻한 아메리카노 한잔 주시고요. Right, 주시고요. And then they have to wait. Yeah. Like, now what? Yeah, so, what's next? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I hope that answers your question. And... All right, so... Uh, okay, which which question should we do? This is not a question, but I, I like it. Jennifer Billups says, Wow, I'm both passively and actively learning while watching Hannah and Cassie. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, when that... When those two things happen at the same time, I think it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Clough Forward Music says, can you explain the pronunciation difference between water and fire in Korean? Water and fire. Let's say it. <laughs> 물. 물. 불. 불. 물. 불. 물. 불. So one good way to practice is say 물, water. So I'll say water and fire. For now, mm -hmm. water, fire, water, 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 water. yeah, like mul pul mul mul, mul mul pul mul. Okay, can you repeat after me? So I, I won't tell you what I will say. Okay. Mul 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 mul. Mul 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 mul. Four. Four water. waters. Yeah. Pul 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 pul. Pul 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 pul. Four yeah. fires. Mul mul pul pul. Mul mul pul pul. Yeah. Water, water, fire, fire. Yeah. So mul 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 pul. <laughs> Mul, 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 pul. Yeah. <laughs> water, 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 fire. <laughs> yeah, correct so far. Mul, bul, mul, bul. Mul, bul, mul, bul is water, fire, water, fire. So this is a, a proven method that actually works with uh, many people. And also, I, I, I forgot where, um, but I read somewhere that this method is uh, used to help Japanese people mm -hmm. learn the difference between R and L. Because, ah. um, yeah. Japanese pronunciation is simpler, so they can't s distinguish the two sounds. But when mm -hmm. they actually s uh, hear it, like ru ru lu ru, they they can uh -huh. hear the difference. So I, I think you can use the same method, like that's um, interesting. Mul -bul, mul -bul, like that. Interesting technique. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very useful. Okay, we have uh, wow, we have just ten minutes left, I believe. <laughs> uh, meru meru asks, can you explain 가지고? 가지고? 가지고. Ah, okay. I actually answered this in an email a couple days ago. Ah, really? Yeah. So, 가지고, um, 가지고 is originally 가지다, to have mm -hmm. or to take something, and and mm -hmm. 가지고. But um, it's also used 
especially I've noticed, especially among people who were born in Seoul, it's also I, I think part of the Seoul dialect. Mm-hmm. So, uh, where where when I would say, uh, 어제 아파서, mm-hmm. like 어제 아파서 못 왔어. I couldn't make it yesterday because I was sick. Mm-hmm. But many of my friends, this, this, 아파가지고. Uh, this might be not so true these days with the current generation, but I noticed it for the first time when I moved to Seoul from Gwangju, so that's why I say it's maybe part of the Seoul dialect. Mm-hmm. All my Seoul friends were saying, 어제 아파가지고, 가지고, 가지고, 가지고. Like, yeah. I would be wondering, what do you have, you know, you know why do you say 가지고, 가지고, have, have, have all the time? Yeah, of course, yeah. I knew the uh, meaning, but... It was weird for me to hear that all the time. Mm-hmm. So, apa, and they also said, 가지고. 가지고. 아빠 가지고. 아빠 가지고. 집에 갔는데 배고파 가지고. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't really like that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's it, not wrong to say it. It means pretty much the same thing as 서. So, yeah, so. Uh, but it's, you will only hear it in spoken Korean. It's not written. You don't write 가지고. Yeah. If like hardly ever, maybe in a text. Not, not in a formal setting. Yeah, definitely not in a formal setting. Mm. So it's it's better to use the so form mm. than mm. 가지고 unless you're like talking to friends. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. I'm just <laughs> keep seeing all the questions and all all the. I we, see. We I see want, a lot of questions we've already answered, and and also many questions that'll take a, a long, long time, time to answer. Yeah. So sorry about that. <laughs> okay, um, this one we can answer quickly. Celeste Telly says, "My question is, what's the difference between people's ages in Korea and in America? We actually have two lessons." on our channel, Korean Age. Just type in Korean Age and you will see the other videos. And basically, it's adding one year if you already celebrated your birthday that year or two years to your international age, like normal age, uh, to make uh, your Korean Age if you haven't celebrated your birthday that year yet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Lovely Boy asks, Are you guys excited for the Pyeongchang Olympics? Are you? I was until I realized how expensive tickets are. I see. Um, I, I think Kyoma actually got a ticket oh, really? to one of the games. I, I don't know. How, like, I think she, she's really good with like, sports games and she fo- follows all the sports games that are in, in Korea. And she's going. I'm personally not going. I'm, I'll just enjoy watching uh, from home. Yeah. But um, yeah, actually, I got only interested in the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics because uh, of this uh, new friend that I made who was working like with the committee. Mm-hmm. So I heard a lot of interesting stories from her. Maybe I'll be able to invite her on the show and have her talk about it. But yeah, I think people are interested, but many people are like, oh, okay, you know, yeah, but- nothing too exciting. I, w- I was like happy because I've always wanted to go see it in person, mm-hmm. but especially like the opening ceremony. Mm-hmm. My friend got tickets for the opening ceremony mm-hmm. when she told me how much they were. Like much? I almost fainted. How much? I think it was a thousand two hundred, like twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars, like yeah. 120 man on, 130 man on? Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> for one ticket, like one person, right? <laughs> one person, All right? And it's probably not the best seat. I don't know. No. Uh, and probably not. <laughs> with, with Pyeongchang, here's a question that I wanted to ask you guys too. Like, so for example, uh, with Pyeongchang, I think the uh, most common news hashtag or news keyword mm-hmm. these days is the down jacket, long down jacket. Oh, yeah. The official <laughs> Pyeong- Pyeongchang uh, like Winter Olympics brand long down jacket like that comes down you know to below your knees yeah they are like selling like hotcakes like you know it's crazy they the people can't buy them because they don't have any in stock and people are saying oh they're really good good material good quality and they they don't rip off uh, uh people because it's an official you know brand of the uh-huh. winter olympics and they're also saying what have 
all the other brands have been doing with their huge profit margin so far, because usually a long down jacket is like 300, 400 US dollars. I thought dollars. it would be more than that, More, actually. sometimes more, like 600 US dollars for a nice winter jacket, but then these are less than 200. Really? Yeah, so people wow. are like waiting in line, like they're, you know, the website is down, you know, it's crazy. I'm personally not interested, but I've been seeing many news articles about this. There's an overhype. Yeah. So my question is, so that's one little bit of information about Pyeongchang. But my question is, would you like to know about these things that are happening in Korea? Because mm. you never get to hear about this kind of interesting phenomenon mm. on BBC or CNN or places like that. So mm. if you want, if you'd like us to talk about these small things in some format, let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Thanks for the before, before yeah. we finish, office tour, all right? Oh, office so, tour. Yeah, yeah, I will unplug this and. So. We still live? Yes, <laughs> we're still live. So, are you guys excited about this? So, we were actually doing the live streaming from. In front of our green screen. Green wall, which is huge. In front, like sitting in, in green, green chairs. chairs. <laughs> Very professional, yeah. keeping it consistent. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is the room that we're filming. Our filming room. Yeah. Lights, so, cameras, yeah. action. And yeah. <laughs> recording room. Backwards, recording room backwards. Yeah, recording room. And. Where should we start? From the door. From the door. Welcome, welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> so when someone comes to our office, you can see Talk to Me in Korean Studio. And here. Oh, yeah. Okay. The screen is reversed. So like that. And this is our office. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the first thing that you notice is how clean my desk is and how dirty. No, just um, <laughs> this isn't even something. No, so <laughs> okay, typical <laughs> reaction when Juyeon has no makeup. <laughs> all right, so this is Kyungha's desk. 안녕하세요. Yeah. She talks. It's not a problem. I'm a matter of I can speak. What are, you, what are you working on now? I'm working on replying to emails. Okay. And show us what's on your desk. Um, mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Very important thing. Uh -huh. And hand moisturizer. Okay. And <laughs> mist. <laughs> Beauty stuff. <laughs> okay. It's a very um, clean and organized desk, right? Yeah. Nice. Hangul master. Screen. I'm learning Hangul right now. Okay. Good, good. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Who's your neighbor? My neighbor is Chuyan, who has no makeup on uh -huh. today. <laughs> and, all right, so, and we have this um, wall. And this, these, you might recognize this illustration from one of our books or many of our books. And we have, I just took the Hangul Master books from here, but we have a wall of all of our books to remind ourselves that we are making these and we want to keep doing a good job. And we have a closet for some clothes and stuff, coats. And this is the most special seat that you will ever see in any office in the world. So the reason is <laughs> it's a corner corner seat. Yep. This is this is my my beautiful area. How, yeah. how, how do you like it? <laughs> I work in the dark. Yes. <laughs> she could turn on the light. I have my own light, but I like to work in the dark actually. Yeah. And <laughs> what do you have on your desk? Um I've got a pen cup. My pens. I've got my, my two drink cups. Mm -hmm. I've got my mouse, headphones, and a book. Okay. 
Do you like this office tour, everyone? <laughs> All right. So let me check the comments. Um, let's see if we're still live. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then we have our couch that we sometimes use to film stuff on. And then we have these movable. You gotta help me. I'll hold yeah, it. Yeah, so we can, we can move them. Yeah. So this wall, that wall, that, that, those are all movable. The big ones are not. And if you flip the wall, it's another color. Oh, yeah, on the other side. And this one has a yellow side on the other hand. So yeah, we can combine colors and film videos. Now, like after seeing this office tour, you will actually recognize these walls in our video lessons. And uh, so they're... <laughs> okay, okay, should I? <laughs> That's Juyang. No comment? I don't totally. Uh, okay, that's it. So that was uh, <laughs> her clean desk. And this is my desk. I have some books here, my monitor. And yeah, no computer because I'm using this computer to talk to you guys. And right next to me, my neighbor is Kyungun. And I don't know if I'm allowed to actually show her desk, but it's okay. Yeah. You don't care, right? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so that's that. And yeah, that's it. We don't have that big um, office. Like, this is it. Yeah, so this is where we work. And we have the book wall, too. Yeah, I, I already showed them. Did you show them everything else? <laughs> We've got everything else. Yeah, everything else that you can maybe think of. <laughs> the. This is like the, the break room, if you will. Yeah, the, the food, coffee machine, water, <laughs> bathrooms, yeah. um, things like that. Microwave, yeah. trash cans, mm -hmm. refrigerator, a sink. Yeah, back to the green room. Uh -huh. So we're back after a brief office tour. Now can we see the, the comments now? <laughs> yes, we can. I believe if my computer didn't freeze. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> the view is just, yeah, normal, I guess. Mm -hmm. Some buildings and some cars. Yeah, the view is nothing special. Nothing special. Yeah. yeah. OK, so um, we're just reading the comments. Please bear with us, because yeah. we didn't see any. Why, why is Cassie in a corner? That's well, a good question. That is a good question. Did I put you in a corner? <laughs> yes, he, he shoved me in there and he wouldn't let me leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so another, no. another person. Why is Cassie isolated? It's actually, it's a funny story. We were moving all of our desks around and uh, he teased that he was going to put me in the corner. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, wait a second, can I be in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> and it took a little bit of convincing, but they actually uh, let me go in there. Mm -hmm. the, the reason is because I have really, really sensitive eyes. Mm -hmm. And the lights really bother my eyes, like any kind of light, really. Yeah. Even sunlight kind of bothers my eyes, but I prefer sunlight over like um, LED or uh -huh. whatever, any other kind of fake yeah. lights. Yeah. Uh, so I like being in that corner because I can adjust. If I need the light, I can turn on the little light in there. And, yeah. if I and there's don't, a yeah, the little small window. There's there. a window. And I can actually get fresh air if I want it. Like I can yeah. open that little window and I have And smoke there. Oh yeah, I can smoke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nobody on the team actually smokes. Yeah. Uh, I like it about that. And um, yeah, uh, that's it. I'm just thinking if there's anything we didn't show. I think we showed everything. We yeah. yeah. <laughs> We we have a, a little veranda, veranda. We call we call them veranda in, in yeah in Korea, but it's actually a balcony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so if you really need to smoke, you can go out there. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, Stan, you got it. She wants the corner so she can sneak in some some naps while working. Oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. The the movable walls <laughs> they actually are great covers <laughs> from your boss. Yeah, I can like, do that. Just cover it. Yeah. Turn it just the right, and you can't yeah. see nobody. And uh, I'm sure some of you have actually noticed, but um, we have partitions. 
Because mm-hmm. I think none of us actually enjoys seeing other people's screen. Like we don't want to like see what other people are working on. Yeah, yeah. We want we we value yeah. privacy. Yeah. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> So, no, I think I think it's good. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. So between Kyungha and Juyeon, there's a little partition there, like a yeah divider. Yes. So Kyungun and I were also kind of debating whether we should get one get for one. ourselves, but we we talk sometimes a lot about um, other things. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> now the the one like uh, not not good point. Uh, the the one um negative to being for me being like in the corner isolated there is I like to say hello to people mm-hmm. but a lot of times when people come in I don't even see that they're they've yeah. come in yeah so <laughs> so we fun fact I mean some some of you already know we have flexible working hours mm-hmm. um so Kyungha uh, lives very far away mm-hmm. she lives in Anyang which is um about one hour and fifteen minutes mm-hmm. by public transport. From here, mm-hmm. so she commutes every day, like f- for like, like three, f- three to four two hours, and a half, three hours, yeah, yeah, like round trip. Yeah. So she can, she would probably not survive that if she were to actually come here by nine a.m. like mm-hmm. in normal Korean offices. So and you know she is a she's she bet functions better when she's like fully awake. So she comes in at around like one. She stays until much later than everybody else. And she, you know, always does that. And mm-hmm. you come in. Um, Changes around, every day, but usually around like 10, 9 or 10. Yeah. 10 so when I come in, it's usually like 10, 30, sometimes. Like today I came a little late after lunch. Uh, I had other things, but then I come in. Sometimes it's only Seokjin and you. Mm-hmm. But both Seokjin and Cassie, they don't like to turn the lights on. So yeah. it's like really dark, <laughs> especially when it's cloudy outside. The, the office itself is dark. And I... See Seokjin, and I'm like, hey Seokjin, and then all of a sudden from the corner, somebody just jumps, jumps up. up. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it's me. See it's the gremlin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah. it's funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do you start we... work at seven thirty? Oh, Ugh, that's awful. <laughs> maybe you like uh, it. May- maybe I hope so. I really hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what, yeah, what do we actually do? Like we we'll, we will actually answer this question um, as the last question to answer in, in this video. We do a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. We um, edit, we film videos, video lessons, edit videos, and um, whenever we release a book, it's not just a few days of work oh, and no. completed. It's just. It's two months of work, and at least yeah, <laughs> Kyungha can be working on one book for a month, for a whole month, and then one book is out. And whenever a book is out, we there are many things that we have to do about it, and video courses too. Like right. um, I'm in the middle of filming a new video course uh, that has fifteen lessons mm-hmm. in it. Me too. Yeah. And yeah. that takes a long time to prepare and film everything and then to edit. So and that when that is released, it's usually like one month or more after the previous lesson. So yeah, yeah we are working on <coughs> many things and, mm-hmm. you know, and a lot of things overlap too. Yeah. So yeah. We'll have like three or four projects going at once, like mm-hmm. per member, team member. Yeah. And so. also we work with work on videos that will be released three days from now, five days from now, or, uh, and also we work on things that will be finished three months from now, Mm -hmm. or a year from now, so. A lot of planning ahead. Yeah, quite busy. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, and one good thing about this neighborhood is that there are many restaurants that we can actually go to, Mm -hmm. like, really easily, so we can just hop out, eat something delicious, and come back, and go back to work, or at least go back to respective, you know, desks. And yeah. do whatever they want. <laughs> corner office, corner um, right, my place, corner office, and then take a nap or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I will, we will see you in the next live Q and A session. Uh, we will let you know when that will be. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully next Thursday, but we can't promise yeah. these days, especially yes. with everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Have a great day. Yeah.